had to do a video on this one. Um, this is actually pretty funny. Let's read uh, from the Daily Mail. Have we ever tried to explain to men how to shave? Wimbledon ace Martina Navratilova leads backlash after SNP Council appoints a man as its period poverty rights officer. Jason Grant was appointed as Scotland's first period dignity officer this week. He will oversee the promotion of the Period Products Act brought in on Monday. The new act states that tampons and sanitary towels must legally be made available by councils and education providers to anyone who need them for free. There has been backlash online over the appointment of a man to the position. And just to tell you a little bit about what that actually that act is first, uh, we find it here. The Period Products Bill, where to get free sanitary products. Under the new legislation, Scottish councils can decide the precise measurements put in place when it comes to providing free sanitary products. However, they have a legal obligation to ensure anyone who needs them can access a range of the products reasonably easily. The products must be made available by councils as well as education providers. Schools, colleges, universities should make them available in turlets. People can find their nearest collection point through Pick, Pick Up My Period mobile app, which was launched earlier this year by social enterprise Hey Girls with Scottish government support and money. Um, but anyway, let's, let's read on. Uh, business owner and fitness coach Mr. Grant believes he <laughs> said he believes his gender will help encourage more open discussion on the subject. But the council has been accused of institutionalized mansplaining <laughs> and peak gender idiocy, idiocy by critics. Mr. Grant, who will also discuss issues around the menopause, <laughs> said it's about making people aware of the availability of period products for anyone of any gender whenever they need it. I think being a man <laughs> will help me... To break, <laughs> uh, to break down barriers, reduce stigma, and encourage more open discussions. Although affecting women directly, periods are an issue for everyone. We'll also raise awareness of the menopause, which, although a natural process for women, has wider repercussions in the world of work and family. But critics, including tennis legend Martina Navratilova, branded the move ridiculous. Wimbledon ace Navratilova, who is vocal on social media about transgender athletes and mental health in sports, said, Have we ever tried to explain to men how to shave or how to take care of their prostate or whatever? This is absurd. Actress Frances Barber called the appointment weird, adding, I don't know how Scottish women feel about this, but as an English lover of Scotland, I'm fuming. And we see some posts. Could they really not find a woman, i.e. someone who has actually experienced periods for this job? I mean, I was under the understanding that men could have periods too. So, um, yeah, you got some woman splaining happening here. Baroness Fox also criticized the appointment, dubbing it peak gender idiocy. When the Welsh government's period campaign addressed people who bleed and failed to mention women girls, we thought it equals peak gender idiocy idiocy she said but oh no hold my beer scottish government here to ramp up indignity so this continues um there's a picture i guess of uh mr grant who's some kind of fitness dude um mm, jason scotland first period dignity officer <laughs> um yeah <clears throat> There's a, there's a lot to take in here, but just know that, uh, you know, we have, don't be sexist. You know, men can suffer from this too. <laughs> we need to have them in there to uh, explain to us, you know, how this works. So, um, quit being racist. <laughs>